Who is Tommy Kono? With the 2020 Tokyo Olympics rapidly approaching, Google used its daily doodle to showcase famous multi-sport strength athlete Tamio Tommy Kono above the search bar. The doodle was created by Los Angeles-based artist Shanti Ritkers and is named Tamio Tommy Kono's 91st birthday. Kono passed away on April 24, 2016, at the age of 85. He is widely considered as one of the most influential athletes and instructors in the history of strength sports in the 20th century. An animated depiction of Kono effectively raising a heavy barbell overhead for a flawless clean and jerk appears in the doodle. On each side of the barbell, there are three colored weight plates, each imprinted with one letter of the word Google. We'd like to imagine Tommy Kono is hitting a smooth PR because the plates don't have a weight designation. We're not shocked. He's still the most decorated male weightlifter of all time. A powerful master of all things. While the Daily Doodle depicts Tommy Kono as a weightlifter, his career as a strong athlete as a competitor and coach was diverse. He was a prolific Olympic weightlifter, earning gold in 1952 and 1956, as well as a silver medal in 1960. He also won six IWF World Weightlifting Championships. He achieved 26 world records and seven Olympic records as a weightlifter. Aside from the stage, Kono was a champion bodybuilder, winning the Federation Internationale Holterophilat Culturist, FIHC, Mr. Universe event four times in 1954, 1955, 1957, and 1961. This was before the Mr. Olympia bodybuilding competition became the unquestioned top competition in the discipline, and one might argue that Kono was also the world's best bodybuilder at the height of his weightlifting career. Kono's career did not end when he retired from competition. After retiring from weightlifting, the world champion went into coaching, guiding a new generation of Olympic weightlifters on the 1968 Mexican Olympic team, the 1972 West German Olympic team, and the 1976 USA Olympic squad. Hawaii, Kono, and the Tokyo Olympic Games in 2020. Kono was well known throughout Hawaii. He trained frequently at the new Anu YMCA in Honolulu in his latter years, encouraging other athletes to practice with him, was inducted into the Hawaii Sports Hall of Fame in 1978, and resided in the state until his death in 2016. USA Weightlifting stated in early May 2021 that the hub of training operations for the 2020 Olympic Games will be situated in Honolulu, Hawaii, reducing flights to and from Tokyo and allowing competitors to practice near their family members. Perhaps Team USA can utilize their proximity to one of the best athletes in the sport of weightlifting to their advantage as they prepare for the big stage. With the USA lineup established, many weightlifting fans and experts across the world are predicting that this might be Team USA's most successful Olympic Games in over four decades. If you like this video and you want to see more like it make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel and hit that bell so you get notified every single time a new video goes live.